Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. I apologize for not being very active the past few weeks uh, with this whole COVID-19 thing going on. My ranges are closed and uh, I'm at home with my family all the time. So I usually do my videos when my wife's at work and my kids are in bed. Lately, everybody's been home all the time. So I'm going to try to do videos uh, in between crazy stuff going on in my house. So what I have here, a little bit of update on my revolver collection. You notice I don't have that nice three inch Chief Special anymore. Uh, I actually traded that in. So I used to have a um, snub nose J-frame that was a blued model. It was a model 37 airweight. I traded that one in quite a while ago. I recently traded in my three inch uh, square butt J-frame, the Chief Special because I never shot it. It was actually, for me, I don't like owning stuff that's so nice that I don't want to shoot it. So I had traded that one in um, a while ago and that's what I actually traded in to get my SP-101. I traded in uh, the Chief Special, a 22 rifle that I had that actually I never showed on my channel. Um, it was a uh, Irma EM-1, basically a um, M1 carbine training model from Germany. I bought it, took it all apart, cleaned it, um, shot it once or twice, and just didn't like it enough to keep it. The magazines were really expensive, so I traded that in. I also traded in my Bodyguard 380, which I kind of regret a little bit. Uh, however, I know I can usually pick them up for about 200 or 150 bucks used anyway, so not too much of a loss, but um, my LCR, you guys have seen this before, very fun very lightweight carry revolver. Uh, so that's one that I have still. My SP-101 and 357 Magnum. This is the three inch barrel version, which to me is the perfect balance between length and uh, carry options. I actually have a Packmeyer grip for this thing. However, when I'm carrying this, I think this grip is a little bit better. It doesn't snag your clothes. I have some Ultimount grip inserts with the double floor to lee on it coming in. Um, but they're delayed obviously with all the stuff that's going on. So I don't know when I'm going to get those uh, My 637 J frame which you've seen in many of my videos. This is actually an Ultimount grip It's the same one that goes on the performance center, but Ultimount makes them I believe This guy is fairly new. You've seen it in one of my videos recently. It is a Charter Arms Undercover 38 Special Revolver. Now I kind of got this because I like the blued um, snub nose revolvers, I got rid of that J frame, the Model 37, that was the uh, lightweight version. I decided instead that I always wanted a Charter Arm snub nose revolver. I really like the way that they, they're put together. This particular one has a very tight lock up on the cylinder. Everything on it works pretty good. Uh, it was missing the plunger on the top of the, the crane to, re to eject the um, shells out of it. So I actually picked up a crane, a cylinder with that whole ejector assembly on it and snapped that in there. So that guy uh, fires very, very well. And this is actually a target grip, a factory charter arms target grip. This one had the factory charter arms rubber, the big bulky grips on it when I got it. And they're very functional, but they're very ugly and they're very bulky. So I bought the, uh, the smooth, very, um, you know, the small factory charter arm scripts for it from the factory. And I put them on and it was a little bit too small. This is the perfect purchase on this gun when you're holding it for me. So I don't have huge hands. I don't have particularly small hands either, but it's the perfect purchase on that for me. And then my charter arms Pathfinder 22 target model. This, I just put some um, Packmeyer grips on it. I forget what model these are, but um, they're very big grips but again for a target model they're a very good purchase on the on the handgun so basically what I've been doing is trying to get the accessories for each one of these models put together so um, the holster that I've been using for the charter arms is my Bianchi holster that I actually bought for my J frame revolvers works perfectly fine on this thing it's all right uh, I don't carry appendix anymore. I basically always carry it three o'clock or four o'clock position. And for that, that's not really the most comfortable holster that there is. Um, what I have been wearing for my SP-101 is this guy. It's an inside the waistband leather holster. 
This is made by Tagua Leather. I bought it off uh, Holster World from eBay. That's my favorite holster for an inside the waistband revolver. It completely spreads out the weight of the gun. Um, it's very minimalistic. You can't even really tell that I'm wearing it even with this big three inch revolver. That's what I've been carrying around. Very comfortable. Uh, this guy, I have a Black Hawk belt slide holster. Um, actually, I have it right here. I've talked about this one before. This is a, I forget what they call this. Um, it's a CQC holster, blackhawk.com, size double zero, Smith & Wesson J-Frame, made in Italy. And this I usually use either uh, this guy in or I stick the J-Frame in or I can put this guy in. That's the nice thing about it. It's, it's pretty well made. They haven't made these in a few years. It has a big chunk of elastic on the front of it and it fits in very snugly. This is an outside the waistband and it rides really high. Um, so if I'm outside working in the garage or something, I tend to, to have this one on just because it's a little bit easier being just under my shirt, not inside my pants if I ever were to get it. But that's the holster I've been using either for um, this guy, for the uh, Ruger LCR, or for the Smith & Wesson. It's really made for the Smith & Wesson. The LCR fits in it, but not very comfortably. I can also use the Bianchi um, for this guy, and it is empty, safety check. Um, but I can fit this guy inside the Bianchi holster as well. It's a little bit tight, and I had been carrying it in here, so it actually stretched it out just enough that it fits perfectly with all of my revolvers. So um, that's just a little quick update video on my revolvers and accessories. I obviously have some speed strips, and I have some speed loaders as well. The speed loader doesn't work on this guy with the target grip on it, and uh, I'm not really speed loading stuff. I actually prefer using these Bianchi speed strips. They hold six rounds instead of five, even though all my revolvers are five round, um, but they work really well. So just a quick update on that. Uh, I want to do a discussion on ammo stockpiling. Um, as you guys are probably well aware of, uh, I live in Massachusetts, and there's been a huge influx of people buying firearms and ammo basically every shop most of the shops in massachusetts are closed by mandate of the governor but before they were basically every shop was selling out of ammo every single day the lines were out the door they had waiting periods they were only allowing certain pe people to get into the store and uh the nicks check for buying a firearm was actually taking days where normally they do it while you wait in the store so crazy stuff going on I'll talk about that in another video, but for now, just a little update on my uh, revolver collection and where that's gone. Again, I can't get out and shoot, so you're gonna see a lot of boring videos where I sit around and talk about stuff, but hopefully you 105 or so people that watch my videos find it interesting enough to stick along. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless America from Cranky Gun Reviews. Please stay safe throughout this COVID-19 stuff. Have a great day.